What happens is that the cartels are mass producing these pills in Mexico mostly, and they're making them look like they're real oxycodone, like they're real hydrocodone, Percocet, Adderall, and then they're bringing them, flooding them into the United States and falsely advertise them, marketing them as though they were real pharmaceuticals. Tonight, yet another reason to treat the Mexican cartels like terrorist groups. They are, as we've said, de facto state actors who partner with the Chinese to poison America. Last year, fentanyl overdoses killed 100,000 people. New research shows how Mexican cartels mass produce fentanyl with chemicals that are sourced in China, then distribute the pills in the United States. Throughout the United States, many times the fentanyl-laced pills are in counterfeit drugs, as you just heard, like oxycodone or Aleve and then smuggled into the United States just this past weekend. More than one million pills, along with cocaine and heroin, were seized from a semi-truck in the port of entry in Arizona. One vehicle, one port of entry, one weekend. The cartels operate with impunity in Mexico, and the Chinese love to exploit that. Joining us now, David Asher, former senior State Department official. David, we've been saying now for, for months that we need to declare the cartels terrorist organizations because they act like it. they're narco states they own northern mexico it seems as though they now have their own uh state department that partners with the chinese uh in this criminal uh activity yeah i mean extremely organized crime that's all i can say i've worked on some of the biggest criminal cases i just want to say is it history. is it organized this is, oh, i hate to this interrupt is organized is it, with the government it, of china yeah. though you've got to understand that none of this could work without the chinese government's involvement that's yeah, so we're not just dealing with drug cartels and Chinese triad, uh, you know, which are the versions of cartels in China. We're dealing with the Chinese Ministry of State Security, the United Front Department of the Communist Party. They are organizing both the fentanyl shipments uh, to the to Mexico. At some level, they're involved in the manufacturing and 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 doing it with the goal of killing American kids. And, and they're doing a pretty good job at that from their perspective. And then they're having Chinese students in the U.S. pick up the money, which was where we can really nail the Chinese because. There's literally thousands of communist Chinese here on student visas picking up drug money all over America every day. And, and we do absolutely nothing about it, uh, which I, I guess should be surprising, but maybe it's not. I was surprised, frankly. Even on, in the Trump administration, we tried to make a, an effort, but uh, a lot of the Justice Department staff felt that this was somehow racist or you know, certainly not AG a a Barr didn't think that. But I mean... You know, the Chinese understand our, our unwillingness to enforce like criminal statutes against students who think they're just picking up money. So they say this being smuggled out of China by their parents so they could invest in U.S. real estate. When, in fact, that money's being taken from China. They're buying the fentanyl precursor chemicals shipping to Mexico. And then the Chinese are taking their take in the United States to buy real estate on the back end. So it's all illegal money. Unbelievable. That well, and the, yeah, the other incredible. thing is, is that if you if you get the money on the back end in the United States, you don't have to worry about smuggling the money back in into Mexico. It launders itself, essentially, rather than having it launders to... itself. And they do send money b back to Mexico for the for the Chinese cartels through Chinese banks operating in the U.S. So I hate to say it, it's sort of China, 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 yeah, you got well... Chinese banks, Chinese students, Chinese money brokers. And then Chinese chemical companies that are in bed with the biggest cartels in the world, at least go Sinaloa, mm. to manufacture a drug that is a murder weapon. And yeah, you've talked friend, about that. With friends like these, who needs enemies? Um, we, we've talked about that. I, since you worked at the State Department, I want to get you on this. We've been talking about, all the way back since May, why not declare the cartels terrorist organizations? It opens up a whole slew of laws that you can go after them. Uh, we've gone as far as talking about using drone strikes on the Sinaloa leadership and some of the other cartel leadership in northern Mexico, they act as de facto narco states. They control northern Mexico way more than the Mexican government does. I've yet to be able to get a straight answer from, from anybody in, in power, but since you used to be at the State Department, what is the uh, aversion to calling the Mexican cartels what they are? I don't know if they're really... Um should be one. Uh, I mean, I've worked on some of the biggest terrorist cases in history and, uh, you know, led the Operation Cassandra against Hezbollah, which was trafficking drugs with members of the Sinaloa drug cartel, by the way. We uh, made them a narco-terrorist organization, not just a terrorist organization. Their partners in Mexico, specifically Sinaloa, Jalisco, and Los Zetas, all are terrorist organizations, and they're using the weapon of uh, fentanyl uh, laced into, you know, everything from counterfeit oxycodone to uh, elite pills to murder people. 
I mean, mm. way too many people die from this drug for it to be a normal drug from a drug trafficking standpoint. It, it, you don't want one, two percent of your clientele yeah. to die every year, okay? Their business model doesn't make any sense unless part of it's being underwritten by the Chinese government itself and the Mexican government's in bed with them. Wow. I think by designating them terrorists, we're going to be able to draw attention to the fact no, that you know, we, 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 we all would. tools against them. Yeah, no, we, we would be able to do all that. We just know it's... We just we don't. Military- hey, David, I, re- I hate yeah. to do this. I'm up, I'm up against the, the computer, which will cut you off. Uh, it's more polite when I do it than when the computer does it. It's good to see you. We'll have you back. Thank you very much for yeah. your time. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.